Hi, my name is Tony, and this is My Life in San Diego. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, it's 4 o'clock. I'm heading home from school right now. Got here about 8.30. And uh, spend a good majority of my time either in the library and in front of the library uh, reading. And uh, schoolwork continues. And I'll be honest, um, I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that I'm going to be able to continue making the videos every day like I had wanted to because um, really nothing's going on to be honest. Um, I've got reading to do, school work to do, work today actually, I'm not too thrilled about that. Hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. Had to cross the street. <sighs> okay, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the videos every day um, like I was before uh, just because Nothing's really going on. Um, I think that works. Yeah, I really don't have anything to do, and I, I don't know how many times I want to turn my camera on and be like, hey, guess what I'm doing right now? I'm reading in the library. I'm spending a god awful amount of time in this building. Um, so I might have to go to like a, an event sort of posting, you know, when I've got things going on, uh, or when I have something to talk about. I just. You know, I could talk about something every day, I guess, I don't know, but, um, I don't know. Check out my grandma's cat. Oh, she's just basking in the sunlight. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do that, but I gotta go to school. So, today is Tuesday, and I'm making breakfast. Yeah, breakfast right there. Then I'm off to school. Ooh, look at that thing. It kind of looks like, well, I mean, it doesn't kind of look like my old car, but uh, it's still cool. Yeah, I wish I could get closer. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm heading home. It's about 10 after 5 right now. I'm actually almost home. And uh, I'm going to run this yellow, yellow, red. Ah, oh, shit, that was close. So tonight, I'm meeting with my friend Elizabeth, and we're going to get together since I was gone on the weekend. She had her going away party this weekend. So we're gonna get together and hang out. I think two other friends are gonna be there, Melissa and uh, our friend, mutual friend, Sean. Sean and Melissa, the couple. <laughs> and uh, I think P's and Q's for drinks, just a little place down on Oceanside. Uh, fortunately, I mean, I'd like to hang out with her and just sort of, I don't wanna say soak up as much Elizabeth time as I can since she's gonna be gone for the next two and a half years. But uh, I kind of do, but then again, I got a lot of shit to do. Um, so I'll be doing that. Oh man, my room is a disaster. Every time I come back for, from a reenactment, uh, it, it's, it's just a war zone in my room, quite literally. I got just shit everywhere. Uh, it's all bad, it really is. And um, just got stuff, I hate unpacking from these battle weekends. It takes me like two weeks. It really does take me like two weeks to unpack from these weekends. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's bad. All right, so here's, oh, look, Spider-Man. Old Spider-Man pillow. Uh, so here's the disaster. Dirty clothes, this is the bag from the weekend. Clean clothes here, old shit there. Just, it's just a mess. It's all bad. And um, one of these days, I'm going to find the time to clean it up. Probably Friday. Probably Friday. Unfortunately. I really hate leaving my room like this, but what can I do? Yep. PB&J. That has been my little guilty pleasure the last two weeks or so. Ugh. Takes me right back to being a kid. It's awesome. Alright, what's up, guys? We're heading into Best Buy. We're going to go and um, buy my friend Elizabeth a digital camera, a digital SLR, before she heads off to the Peace Corps. So, this is what I'm heading right now. I'm going to help her sister, Andrea, and we're going to do a little surprise for her. So, we're going to do that right now. Alright, so that's the one we're looking at getting her the D3000 with the lens 549. So, now I'm all waiting for is Andrea to get here. So, as she gets here, we're able to get this thing going. So, Andrea, hurry up. You know, I just realized that I do a lot of filming when I'm on Morsopa and uh, La Tortuga. Um, I don't know why. But anyways, um, tonight is normally uh, softball night. 
problem with that is my friend Elizabeth is leaving early tomorrow morning for, um, I heard a cat. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, she's leaving tomorrow morning to get on a flight, head to DC for her staging area, and then she's flying to Ukraine. Um, I know I want to emphasize you and Ukraine. I just don't know how else to, like Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. I don't know, whatever. So what's happening tonight is she's having a family dinner and her sister, and she invited me to this family dinner uh, at her parents' place tonight. Um, pretty much in the next 15 minutes or a half hour, so it's gonna kick off. And um, so I, I was like, oh, okay, well I got a softball game tonight. And she's like, well, I guess I'm not gonna see you for like 27 months then. I'm like, ooh, you know what? No, I'm gonna go. Softball games come and go, but she's gonna be gone in for two and a half years. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go to that. So I'm doing that right now. And uh, I know I saw her last night too. And, uh, and I helped pick out the, her gift, which well, see that's the big thing is like I want to be there when they give her the gift and everything too. So because um, I was a part of that. You know, I like being a part of giving gifts because I'm a gift giver. I love giving gifts. Hey, what's up, guys? Well. Uh, today is a sad day for me, um, but today is an exciting day for my friend Elizabeth. Well, some of you might remember, I would mentioned my friend Elizabeth a couple of times. Um, she's leaving in just a very few short hours for DC, and then from DC she's heading over to the country of Ukraine, and she'll be there for 27 months um, doing her uh, Peace Corps work. She'll be teaching English over there, not sure where yet, somewhere uh, within the country. Um, it's it's a sad day for me because she's leaving. You know, I've known her um, for ten years now. I've known her for ten years, and uh, we met in high school. Um, and it's just it it kind of blows my mind that she's leaving right now. Um, I guess it hasn't really sunk in yet, but she's doing. An awesome thing she's doing a very noble thing she's uh, I'm just I'm just proud and honored to know her uh, and what she's doing she's she's doing something that most people don't do and can't do and that is look after somebody else uh, not really after somebody else but she's she's not doing something that's gonna benefit her she's going over she's volunteering she's gonna get paid very little um, as far as compensation, you know, she's they're gonna have housing and stuff provided for her, but her compensation for her time is is minimal, you know. Um, so she's going over there. She's doing something for another entire country, you know. Uh, so it's very noble of her, and I'm very honored to know her, and I'm very privileged to be her friend. And um, she's definitely somebody that I look up to. Uh, well, I used to be a a bad student, you know, kind of a pothead, you know, street racing kid back when I was, you know, 17 to 20, basically, 19. And um, when I met her, uh, or well, I, I knew her since high school, but you know, we sort of caught back up, you know, um, after a couple of years out of, for me, out of high school, um, she changed me. Uh, I was... I, I got interested in school again, you know, we started working together, uh, we started to get to know each other very well, and um, it just changed my life. And so she's been a, a positive influence in my life for a very long time, and I hold her in very high regard, and she means the world to me. And so, uh, it's like I said, for me it's a sad day because she's leaving and she, no longer will she just be 10 minutes down the road. You know, she's going to be in an entire new country, an entire new continent. Um, don't even know what time of the day it is over there right now, but it's probably sometime tomorrow. And um, so for me, it's a sad thing. For her family, it's a sad thing. Um, but what she's doing is awesome, and I definitely have the utmost respect for her for going and doing this because it's just simply awesome. So she's definitely going to be missed by everyone around here. Uh, you know, well, because of the internet and everything, we'll be able to still talk with her and we'll, you know, see her, I guess, digitally speaking. And she's going to keep a blog, so we'll be able to keep up with what she's doing when she gets around to putting that stuff online. Uh, I did try to get her to start vlogging, and so that's a very easy way. You don't have to write, you don't have to think about what you have to say. You just, pff, here, here's the story. And she's like, well, I don't feel really comfortable talking to a camera. And it's like, well, you know, it kind of grows on you. 
Um, but she's not going to do that. So, I don't know. This is going to be weird, you know. Anyways, um, I need to finish my paper. Um, I got to turn it in tomorrow afternoon. So, I still have, I don't know, like 500 words to write. You know, a couple more pages. And then I'm done. Well, not really, because I'm going to have to proofread it, edit it. So I'm, I'm going to be up pretty late tonight. So I just want to make sure I sat down and, you know, praise my friend Elizabeth for going out of her way and um, doing something very noble and uh, wrap this day up. Um, and that's it. So you guys have a nice night, and, uh, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.